Explorer Story Time. This is the third session. My name is Akiko, and this one, this story time, is brought to you by Lane Public Library and Art Museum at Miami University. So for this session, I got to see the exhibit called Confronting Greatness, a Celebration of Woman Artists. So back in 1970s, that's a little over 40 years ago, there was a professor named Linda Nicklin. She was a professor of art and history, and she realized one day that all the famous paintings at the museum, they were all done by men. And she thought that's not right. Because it's not just men that's artists. We are all artists. Do you like to draw? Do you like to create things? Do you like to write poems? Do you like to come up with stories? As long as you use your imagination and create, you are an artist too. So today, let's do story time about being an artist. Let's get started. Okay, my first story today is called Maybe Something Beautiful. How Art Transformed a Neighborhood. This is written by F. Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Illustrated means she's the one that drew the pictures in this book. Maybe something beautiful. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Can you see the gray city? See how gray it is? Oh, they don't seem very happy in there. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry. Right there. He's the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the street. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not too much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. Can you see his paintbrushes? He has paintbrushes in his pocket. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Hmm, maybe something beautiful. The man replied. Then just like that, he dipped the brush in the paint. Bam! Pow! The shadows scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. you? Mira asked. Oh, I'm an artist, he said. A muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush. Then come on. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yowie! The wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and bizarre. Soon Mr. Sachs joined in, and then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm, salsa and bebop. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party. Until, uh-oh. The policeman walked up. 
Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat <clears throat> and then paused. May I paint with you? he asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush and the music started again. Teachers and papas jumped in, babies too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Colors spread throughout the streets and so did joy. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with, po with poetry and shine. And everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with the million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide and pulled everything together in big sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. That was maybe something beautiful. And if you ever check this book out from the library, um, actually this story is based on a true story. And it happened in a town in California. So if you ever check this book out, um, there's a note from the authors at the end of the book. So maybe your grown-ups can explain to you. I hope you liked it. Okay, are you ready to sing a song with me? I'm going to use a scarf today. Um, feel free to pause and ask your grown-up if you can borrow a fashion scarf like this. Or you can use kitchen towel or even a tissue paper. Something that you can swing like this would work. Okay? Alright. Are you ready? You have a scarf? Here we go. <clears throat> we're gonna sing a song about painting and we're gonna pretend this is a paintbrush. Here we go. This is the way we mix our paint, mix our paint, mix our paint. This is the way we mix our paint so early in the morning. This is the way we paint with brush, paint with brush, paint with brush. This is the way we paint with brush so early in the morning. Should we paint up and down like this? Can you do up and down? This is the way we paint with brush up and down, up and down. This is the way we paint with brush so early in the morning. Now the story we just read, the man was painting on the wall. He was a muralist, remember? So let's paint a wall. It's a, we have a big wall in front of us. We need a lot of paint. So we're gonna hold a big bucket like this it's heavy. It's very heavy. So we're going to mix it. This is the way we mix our paint. Oh, it's heavy. Mix our paint. Mix our paint. This is the way we mix our paint so early in the morning. Remember, it's a big wall. We're going to paint it. This is the way we paint the wall. Paint the wall. Paint the wall. This is the way we paint the wall so early in the morning. Let's paint up and down. Ready? Here we go. This is the way we paint with brush up and down, up and down. This is the way we paint with brush so early in the morning, early in the morning. Okay, are you ready for our next story? I have a book called The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse by Eric Carle.
I am an artist and I paint. What does he paint? A blue horse. And whoa, a red crocodile. A yellow cow. A pink rabbit. A green lion. And an orange elephant. A purple fox. Wow. A black polar bear. And a polka dotted donkey. I am a good artist. That was Eric Carle, the artist who painted a blue horse. This actually is based on a true story too. There was an artist that wanted to paint his um, horse on a canvas bright blue. And everyone said, I've never seen blue horse. And he said, that's why it's wonderful. It's about imagination. Thank you all for joining me today. That was Art Explorer Storytime with the Lane Public Library and Art Museum at Miami University. Don't forget, there will be a link down below by the Art Museum staff for um, hands-on activity for you to do at home. And then I will have a list of books, um, the books that we read today, and also more books about being artists if you're interested. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.